Well, it's the new year and I hadn't made any videos, so here we are. We are soaping this week. And we thought we'd just turn on the camera and make stuff and you guys can watch. My new roaster, it's a big one. It makes uh, three triple batches of soap. So, I think it's three triple. Maybe two triples and two a double. I don't remember. We'll find out though. <laughs> when we go to pour, put stuff in the molds. So anyway, it takes a lot of oil and a lot of lye water. <laughs> and it fills it right up. And we uh, put our lye water outside to cool because it's quite nippy outside. It worked pretty good. So if you watched any of my other videos, when I hot process, I do not go to trace when I look it up. Uh, you don't have to with a hot process, but you do have to make sure it's fully emulsified. And it takes a few minutes with this big roaster. Oops. And oh gosh dipped it right in there. Here's something we learned about this big old roaster is that you cannot cook it on high because it takes about 10 minutes and then it'll burn it. Because <laughs> high is 450 degrees. Learn that the hard way. So now we use this big old roaster and we cook on 150. <laughs> low and slow. Low and slow and it still only takes about the same amount of time that it does with a crock pot. But it doesn't burn it. So some more here we go. Oh, good. Oh, it's a little torn in the middle. I don't use the cover because it doesn't totally seal it. And this keeps all the moisture in. And you want the moisture in a hot process soap because otherwise it'll dry out and leave a little dry bits in your soap. And we learn that the hard way too. Okay, everything we learn is the hard way. <laughs> We figure it out, don't we? We do. Okay, it's gonna get really big in just a little bit. Now we are going to do a cold process soap. Um, we have no clue what our oil's gonna do in it. I'm gonna make sure our lye water's cool enough. Nope, not yet, almost. And I'm going to soap it really nice and cool. This is just barely warm because we have no clue. We've never made cold process or any kind of soap with Takaki, which is a floral. What's Takaki? It's a flower. But um, we want to soap cool just in case it goes crazy. So I'm just going to emulsify my goat milk in here. It is boiling already at 150. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of brownish, isn't it, Lucy? Because it's cooking really fast. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn it down to warm. 
You hear that? I'm turning it down to warm because it's cooking so fast already. It's boiling. I mean, literally just plugged it in. Oh, we can make some white for this. Um, I want, get one of the paper cups in the back. Yeah. And put just maybe that much in there and the rest water. I want a lot of water in it. Another learn the hard way is that when you use titanium dioxide, I have to use it in my soap because all my oils and butters make my soap very yellow. A little bit more here. And just a smidge more. And then yeah, fill it almost to the top with water. Yeah, that's good. So I use titanium dioxide to get some white in my soap. And boy, does it accelerate trace. Woo-wee! It makes it go fast. So we add quite a bit of water to our titanium dioxide. A little bit more, actually. And we learned that the hard way, too. <laughs> Yesterday we, was fun. Yeah, we had to cram some soap in a mold real fast. It loosened up a little bit, so it's going to be really pretty when we cut it, but we couldn't do what we were going to do with it. We made some cupcakes and they set up pretty fast too, even though we didn't put white in the frosting part. So now we know. Anyway, I've got some liquid soap over here. I doubt you can see me, but I'm stirring up my liquid soap because I warmed it up a little bit. It had sat overnight to dissolve the paste. And it wasn't totally dissolved, so I wanted to just barely warm it to get the rest of it dissolved. And technically, I should add more water to it, but I don't want to. <laughs> because I like it a little bit thick because we make body wash with it, too. So I leave it a little thick. Oh, hey! <laughs> Good job. Anyway, that's what I was doing over there. It's just barely warm. It's not boiling or anything like that. So, Yeah, now we just got to wait for that lye water to cool down a little bit. I suppose I can put you on pause. If I can do it without shutting you off. Okay. My lye water is pretty cool. It's not all the way cool, but we're going to do this now anyway because that is really cooking. I mean, it's not too much, but it's almost mm. done. <laughs> it just farted. <laughs> oh. oh, that was funny. <laughs> oh, the, the seal kind of broke and it burped, but it really sounded like a fart. Okay. <laughs> Keeping it real, people. <laughs> Malai water. So when I do cold process, I do a very light trace. I do not do a heavy trace. It's very, very light. I just emulsify it, pretty much. That's it. You can see it's getting thick on there, so it's it's emulsified. Okay. Because this is an experiment, we're not going to add the white yet. We are going to add the fragrance and see if it locks up on us. <laughs> if it does, then we know we cannot use it for cold process. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I know you don't like floral. 
know what I do. This isn't a bad floral though. It's a it's light. It's a softer floral. It's very soft, very light. But no, I'm not a floral person. Okay. So far so good. Barely yeah. getting thick. Looks nice. Uh oh. You see it? Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Is it going? Oh, it is getting thick, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to try this. Don't know if it'll work, but we're going to try it. Oh, my gosh, look. Uh. Oops. Big old blob. Now, here's the other thing. When it starts to get thick like this, Rhonda knows I have no patience at all. And if you have patience and you give it a minute to really heat up, sometimes it loosens it enough that you are good to go. And sometimes it takes a little longer than that. But we have one fragrance that we just let sit for like five minutes and bam, it loosens right up and then you can mix it. But you have to be patient. <laughs> I have no patience whatsoever. Okay. And I'm going to let the one that I'm going to put white in just sit. Actually, it's still okay. It's thick, but it's still okay. It could be better. But we're going to let it sit. And we're going to let it get hot and see what happens. That's why we experiment. Because no matter what, we will still cram it into the molds and still use it. But, you know, we wish it was pourable. Yeah, yeah just do your best on it. I feel like this still has little white, yellow specks. But like I said, be patient. It's like butter. Like, like me, be patient. A stick of butter right now. Yep. When you first get it out of the fridge. Yep. Okay. We're gonna let that. And it's heating up. You can feel it heating up. Not gonna add the white till this loosens. It's heating up really good. And I probably could have waited a little bit longer. <laughs> this is solid. A little longer on the lye water so it was really cool but I you know you got to experiment so and it was it's down to about 120 so not too bad but it, yeah it's thick see it's thick <laughs> but we're gonna let it sit I would just let that sit yeah. too I was going to say I can't. Because up underneath there, that's already getting hot. Hot, hot. As our chemical reaction happens, it will get looser. And oh, we're volcanoing. Uh oh. Hey, you get to see a volcano all over the back. That's what that part was. That was a giant volcano. Okay, grab the blue spatula. And you get to see a volcano. How much do we have on the counter? A lot? No. Okay. Here's the good part about having uh, stainless steel tables. You can scoop that stuff up and just put it right back in. Because we do wipe everything down with alcohol when we start the morning. Now, I was cooking below 150, and that's what happened. So I am going to just leave this on warm, and we're going to seal it back up for just a few minutes. Well, actually, we can do our stuff while that is um, loosening up. You want to get another bucket so that I can lay out what we need? And do I remember what it is? No, I do not. <laughs> So, 
Oh, this one should be right here. Need 150. Yep, 150. You can tear it on there and we'll just scoop it in. Okay, 150. You want to help scoop? Sure. I don't have a good scoop. Oh, yeah. grab that big old spoon there. Yep. It's so much easier when you have two people when you're doing these big ones. You don't want it to cool down too much. If I leave this on, I never unplug it. Oops! <laughs> That's all right. Uh, this is beautiful. Can you see it? Look at it. That's called the applesauce stage. It's beautiful. It is perfect for soap. Hot process. I wish I just had like a big old scoop I could put in here, but yeah, we don't. This works. Like 102. Oh, we did only have two people. I didn't even lay out the fragrance, but you can leave it right on there and we will lay out the fragrance. 132. <gasps> oh! <laughs> we didn't want to use it. We didn't want to use that anyway. 146. 7.3. Go 151. So just a little bit more. 151.1. Perfect. Grab whichever one you want to use. I don't care. Whichever fragrance you want to do. As long as it's one of the orange ones. <laughs> whichever one you want to use. So I grabbed the vanilla and oh, <laughs> like, as long as it's one of the orange ones. Go ahead and pour uh, eight ounces in there. I am going to pour. I'm going to put. I'm going to get colors either. Uh, it's okay, I'll take a second for the colors. It's loose enough. I'm not worried about it. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, way under. <sighs> I'll cover it again so we don't lose all that moisture. That good, good, good moisture. Thing you saw the volcano, or we would have been mad because it had gone too long. Mmm, it smells so good. Here we go. Stir that in. We'll get you some colors. We're never organized. <laughs> We're never ready. Okay. That. Orange. And I will mix this up real fast. Oh, and we need. We might as well use this white we've got mixed already because that is still heating up. Get these out of the way. And we need another little cup. I got gold. You know what? We're going to use it. Okay. Ooh. Why not? I don't want the white in just yet, so okay. I'm going to have you put um, the mix in here, and we would color that and throw it back in, and then put, we'll put the white in before we throw it back in. But. Oh, this is mango papaya.
pumpkin head from Mad Micah's, the only Micah's I use. You will find the link in my description. And if you would please use that when you go to buy it, I get a commission because I love Mad Micah's and they want me to tell you about them. <laughs> so they pay me. Doesn't cost you anything. Okay, dump some of that in there and you gotta stir it up real good. You can hand that to me and I will stir while more. Yep. Oh. One more. There we go. And then you pour that in and stir that in. As best you can. It's gonna look like the um ones that we did out there, the loofahs. Remember those? Mm -hmm. How pretty. Ready? Mango papaya is such an awesome fragrance. It is one that is one of our best sellers. I mean, we've got some other ones now that people really love too, but that's always been a favorite. Yeah, we keep going. See how it keeps it nice and loose? And I don't want it like totally white. I like the swirl. See down on the bottom on that side, there's like nothing. So there you go. Then I'm going to drop this in there and you can just do what you just did and swirl it around. Man, while you're doing that, I will check on our misbehaving soap over here and see if it's loosened up at all. If it hasn't, then you get to watch us try to mix it together and cram it into some molds. is flying everywhere. Okay. Oh, it is. Look. Do you see how it's dark? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys, look. Do you see how it's like mostly white, but do you see the dark part? That's where it loosened up. Okay. <laughs> I can do this now, right? Yep. Oh, look how pretty. Oh my gosh. That's going to be gorgeous. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> yes, it is. I can mush around. And we had some that didn't get much color mixed in it, but we're putting it all in here and just mushing it. Boy, do you see when we, we did this with some loofahs and they, oh gosh, they came out so pretty, but we did with another, oh, the lavender. We did the same thing, didn't we? Cause we did hot process with that the last we time. We did. Yeah. But it was the, the mango papaya last time. It came just, out really pretty. I don't think I've seen a prettier hot process. So this one's going to be pretty too. You watch. Cold process seems to. Because you can do swirlies and stuff. Yeah. So it looks a little different, but that was just gorgeous, that mango papaya. Yeah. And all we got to do now with this it is really hot. So we bang it on the counter because I think we got it all. I don't want to do too much on the top. Other than scraping this off. Go ahead and bang it on the counter and you got to get the. Make sure there's no empty spots in it, you know. Perfect. It's going to be pretty when we cut it. It's going to be pretty. Yay. Yay. And now this is just about ready. I am just like shocked. Oh my gosh. It's almost ready. I don't know that these loosened up as much. Oh, they did. Oh, look at this. Okay. See how it looks all dry on the top, but look at this. Look how it's all loose in there. <laughs> it's not pourable, but you can still whoosh it around and put it in here. And then 
what we are going to have to do. Oh, this one is doing the same thing. I'm so happy. I think we can leave it a few more minutes while we do another uh, hot process one. Uh, vanilla is next. These yes. are doing it too. Uh, vanilla or we were going to do Satsuma with the lupus. lupus. Yes. You're right. So, okay. Vanilla would be next. I'm moving this over. So we need another bucket. Yes. Uh, no, we're doing the same color and it barely has any fragrance in it. We're doing it. Oh, sh sh save that one for the okay. other one. All right. I'm working hard today. <laughs> need new gloves. Oh my goodness. Okay. Two points. Yes, we are doing vanilla. Now we're going to do vanilla a little different. You see this? This is some other vanilla that we had and we ground up and so it will have some flex in it. Oh, we need to do some white too. Okay. You can want to get another paper cup. We can do a lot of water in there. Same as last time? Yep. Yeah, corner and stick. Oh. Ooh. It still looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah. And fill it up just like this. Yep. it will turn dark brown always so you work with it what we do is we add white and swirl it so as you're looking at it after it's cured it's not a solid brown and it doesn't look like fudge <laughs> looks really pretty so this one will look similar to the other one that we did where the white was mixed in only we're not doing a color with it we're gonna put those in Gonna, these have white in them too. Okay, so we're good. We're good. Okay, same thing. One fifty one. Don't need a new. And I need another glove. Okay, I just swept that one off. Wherever it's at. Now she's just wiping that off. And the reason we don't wa worry about washing it is because these are all fragrance oils. They are not like an essential oil that you know, if someone had an allergy, you wouldn't want one essential oil mixed with another or with, mixed with a fragrance. This is just all fragrance oil. So if you're allergic to fragrance oils, you're allergic to all of them. So yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Rhonda always has to interpret what I'm talking about. Alright. Yeah, we go again. You said 151? Yep, same thing. So this is another big one. Still looks good. Still looks good. Yay. Nice and liquidy. Yes. Hear the blops, but that would be a really good ASMR noise. <laughs> now, here's a question for you. Mm -hmm. I ask her questions a lot, all the time. Since we are putting in the the shavings, do we need to put 151? Um, no, we don't. Very good question. I didn't think about that, about the shavings weighing. The shavings are very light, okay, but they still add bottom. So, since that does go right up to the very, there's a little dry tea here in there. It's a little dry piece, we're going to pop that out. 
it happens whenever you're cooking with soap. Um, so let's go 145. Because it's going to add volume and some weight. Not a lot. But we don't want to overflow our. dry spots they don't hurt anything if you ever get a soap especially one from us and it has a dry spot in it it's still soap it just got cooked a little bit too long and it's dry go ahead and put the fragrance oil in you don't just you know what do not grab one of those and we're going to do white a big bowl Lindy yep okay and grab and just scoop maybe half out uh, half a bowl and do that as white. The reason she's taking the white out, or the some out for white, is because we don't want it to turn brown at all. And it will. It'll get cream color, or darker than cream color. So we don't want that. This is starting to dry. So I'm going to put one more sheet over this. We don't want it dry for our last Good batch. Boy. That looks good. And dump all that in there. Looks like a lot of water. It kind of is, but you want it nice and loose so that it will make a really pretty swirl. Who says you can't swirl hot process? You can. We've done it many times, haven't we? Yes, we have. <laughs> and they, this comes out looking really nice. We're getting better at it. <laughs> I mean, we really are getting better at it. Oh, we still got a label. Fragrance oil in. Yeah, I'll come to it. Trying to make sure I get all the white in, all mixed together. Because that will look really <clears throat> pretty once you get that all in there and it get, goes into here. It'll look really swirly and pretty. Smells like we're baking cookies. It is the most wonderful vanilla. I mix my own vanilla. I use two different fragrances. It smells like cupcake cookie heaven in here. It really does. Now I want to mix in a bunch of those before we do the white because I don't want the white all mix mix. So go ahead and dump some in. And then we'll stir that. We may add a few, few more. <clears throat> oh, our cute curly cues, they're so cute. Some of our soaps got cut small. So oh, we're using them up as curly cues. Okay, a little bit more. Nope, we're gonna do the white and then we will put some more in. And if we were baking this, wouldn't that be awesome? Uh -huh. <laughs> the colors and everything, and it just looks so pretty in there. Looks like cake batter with something yummy in it. I'll get yeah. this to you in just a second. So we went. Gorgeous. Oops, sorry. We run into each other all the time. <laughs> it happens. All the time. When we were in a smaller space, it was worse. Oh my gosh. Oh, that other room? Mm hmm The other room was crazy. And we need a mold. They're right here. Nope, this is a triple. Oh, you're right. There we go. Ha! And then I'll take a few more. Okay. Now we got the darker brown. With the white. With the white. Yeah. The first little bit I put in was like a lighter, almost yeah. milk chocolate color. This looks like a dark And this chocolate. is like a dark chocolate with some white in it. It's really pretty. Yeah, I don't think you can see it, but if you can, yeah. I mean, it looks like chocolate and you want to eat it, but don't eat it. It doesn't taste good. Do not like this soap. Do not like this soap. What do you think? I think we're good. That looks pretty. Look 
boiling hot. Holy cow. Yeah, so you always miss some in these big old buckets. You just push it around. It'll be funny. Yep. <laughs> we probably worry about how it looks more than you guys do because once you cut it and everything, you're like, oh, it looks great. <laughs> we didn't mess it up. It looks fantastic. Oh, the smell. I know vanilla is kind of like, you know, the one scent nobody wants because, you know, it's just vanilla. No, this smells like, like I said, like you've been baking all day. Oh, for crying out loud, I can't get it. Drop. I know it's a super long video, but we're doing so many things. I wanted to show you everything. Thank you. Okay. While that's still hot, I want to see how we're doing here. Oh, I think we're, I'm just going to mix it together. How's that sound? Yeah, it's still got a few dry bits, but look at them green. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not horrible still. Like, it's not horrible like we were hoping, but right, it'll still be, it'll still be fine. It'll be pretty. But we marked that one down as Takaki is hot process only. <laughs> yeah. And that way we'll remember next time. This is how we find out whether it's hot process or cold process is we try it. I can tell you right now, I do not ever do mango papaya cold process, even though it works okay in it, changes the scent. <laughs> then it does not smell like mango papaya at all. I'm going to make a little noise. It has to be done. It's kind of fun though. It is. I'm going to go soak to the soap. Yeah, if you have any stress, that's one thing. You can just beat up the soap. Okay. And there's the vanilla. Yay. You look great. Wait till you see it cut, though. It's going to be gorgeous. I'll do a quick video when we cut it, too, tomorrow. You're going to love it. Okay, well, this did not loosen up to... Um, horrible standards. I didn't get any white in it also because the white would make it just it wouldn't mix in because it's not loose enough. So I didn't put any white in. It'll still be pretty. And sometimes what we fret about nobody else does. And they're like, oh this soap is gorgeous. Well, it was hard to make, but we did it. Yeah. This won't have white around them, but it's still going to be nice. Quite often, our best laid plans. <laughs> what we thought they'd be. Start scooping it in. But look at the difference. Oh, look yeah. At, look at the difference. It was solid. And while it's still kind of solid, it's not unusable. Oops. And we do still kind of have to mush it in there. We don't care. Because now we know. It does not need to be a cold process soap ever again. <laughs> and here's the thing. 
you go to make this stuff and you, you know, you look up your fragrance and see if anybody's made it and how it reacts in cold process soap. And some people it's fine because of the recipe. Everybody's recipe is a little bit different. And if you did that exact recipe that they said was okay, and then you would not have issues. But my recipe is like nobody else's. And I sometimes have issues. Is it cool enough to yeah. do that? Okay. Sometimes you get... It's still hot, but it's not like... Not like you can't. It's definitely been hotter. Yeah. No, I'm gonna put them in the yeah. corners. I'm gonna start with the other one. Yep. I'm gonna just kind of use your heel. There you go. And squish it end to end. Uh, hang on. My heel's too big for that. <laughs> I have bigger hands than she does. I'm a little bit taller than she is. A little bit. Just a little. Just a little. Her and my husband like to remind me how, that they are taller than me. She's always got somebody with her to, you know, get stuff off the top shelf. It's fine. She puts stuff on the top shelf, I think, on purpose. <laughs> There's nowhere else to put Look it. At her. I can get it down for her. She doesn't need to worry about it. Unless I'm not here a day and then, well, I can't. And then I have a stuff stool over there. Right. Not that short. Okay. I don't like the top of this. It's not pretty. It ain't pretty. Mm -hmm. Is that done? Is yes. that enough? Yes, that's enough. I don't know. We need something. I don't have. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Nothing. hard. Well, I'll get it when I'm done with this one and we'll see how we can pretty it up a little bit. And it's probably going to be pretty when it's cut. It just doesn't look like it on the top. But really, it, it will be fine. It'll be fine. It's just, it's us. It's like when you're an artist and, you know, you like doubt your own work and how it looks and everything and then everybody else is raving about it. That's how we feel about our creations. And also sometimes just, you know, by the time you cut it, it just looks different than what your mind thought it was going to. So, yeah. But this has very subtle colors. And I think it's going to look really pretty when it comes out. Here's what it's going to look like on the top. Like a hot process soap. Yeah. That's what it'll look like. And a lot of people like that look because it's kind of rustic. That's how they describe it. So, I'm going to show you what I've been doing. So it was flat. And I just kind of took my fingers like you would pie dough and just kind of, yeah. So that when you cut it, you got a little texture on the top. But it's going to look like we hot processed it and we did not. This is definitely cold process. So it won't look any different than any of our other soaps that we hot processed. Very true. Yeah, see? Right. Now it looks good. Fine. Yep. Cool. There it is. However, that is a cold process. So, we're going to toss this in our next, I should say our last one. Two points. Yes. Is Satsuma. Satsuma. Um, let me do some oil for it. Tatsuma is orange, 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 and it, um, this is me too. It's a very nice, wonderful scent. People love it.
is and we'll just mix right in here. We do need a little thing to lay out our oil for our fragrance. You know what happens when we make soap? We <laughs> have to do dishes. It's always dishes. Not my favorite. Always dishes. I do like making soap. But there's always dishes. There's always dishes. Christmas time, we had someone come in and do dishes a couple times. Yep, that was wonderful. It's very wonderful. Okay, how much? Eight? No. Nope. You're doing... Let's go with... I'm not winging it on the fragrance. I was calculating in my head. I am winging it on the color, though. I rarely, rarely, I mean, never measure color. I go by what it looks like. <laughs> Eyeball it. I'm gonna do a little white in that one too. If I can open it, we'll do some white. going to this does not make three triple batches but close it makes two triple batch which I call them triple batches because it makes three loaves we do two and then the last makes two and some loofahs because it doesn't make another whole one of those No, I was asking her a question, but I'll ask her later. Okay. <laughs> I was ignoring her. She was. Not really. <laughs> I asked very quietly. Sorry, that was probably right in your ear. She doesn't like this orange, but I love it. It's like, I don't like patchouli, but she can stand it. I don't like patchouli. I make it often though. I like the more earthy fragrances. But also patchouli mixed with this orange. That's in in a little bit of a little bit of lime. Oh that. Yeah. That smells delicious. For people who don't like patchouli like me, trust me when I say you can mix it with other stuff. It is a base fragrance that when you mix it with something else, it smells wonderful. Like sandalwood patchouli, you can't tell there's patchouli in it. It changes the fragrance. People will tell you they can smell the patchouli, but there's no way. They see patchouli on the name, and so they assume that they can smell it. Yeah. And if they're like me, they're like, hey, I don't like patchouli. Yep. And I don't, but I love it when it's mixed with something. Then I'm like, oh, yeah. That uh, Sedona, yeah. that has patchouli in it. And lavender and something else. I don't remember now. It's been so long. But that one, I mean, you can't tell there's. This is very orange. <laughs> you can't tell if there's patchouli in that one. But uh, Sedona. But it does smell good. one because it's so shallow you can see all the bits that you didn't get mixed in. <laughs> Here's the swirls. Don't miss any. Oh, right. 
did this one a little different than I did the others because it's the last in it and I don't have to worry about it. taking a little bit out to mix the color in. I'll just do a little bit in the pot because I can see what I'm doing. And steaming. Oh, I know why. Because I accidentally bumped that and it went up to 200. <laughs> that would be a reason. <coughs> See it steaming? And that just gives you like a humongous blast of that fragrance right in your face. Right in your face. Woo! Ooh, sorry. Okay. Just oh, have the soap right at you. The unplug. No off. I leave it on because you don't want your hot process soap getting cold while you're trying to stir it all together. This is kind of looser than that cold process soap is. Yeah. Definitely. This thing heats so fast. I mean, I literally just bumped it and it heated right up. loopers we're going to make. Literally just a couple. And sometimes <laughs> we will make the last batch just lupus, but we don't have enough lupus to do that. We got it low, low, low on lupus. two lupas out of it. But yeah, I think the last time we actually did that. We did lupas on the last. We did mango papaya and then we did lupas. Okay, well that's today. That's all the soap making we're going to do today because our oil heaters are empty. And we got to fill them up. That's what we're doing the rest of the afternoon. Anyway, I will show you the cut on those other ones uh, when we do it tomorrow. So I'm putting you on pause.